And that should tell you what happens sometime during this episode, if you uh, know anything about the game at all. But first of all, we gotta get rid of Ada. Yeah. Carla. Hey there. Trading? Let's go ahead and uh, Let's see what you have. I got buy some stuff first. This is actually the second time I went through this, because Ada is hard to get rid of. I took her down to uh, Grey Garden, where she's going to stay, and I tried to build her up a little place, her little own little trading stand, and I tried to get her to stay there, and she wouldn't do it. I'd go in and I'd dismiss her, and he'd say, well, I think it's not that I really want to keep following you, but whatever you want, and, and, and then she wouldn't stay. So, I finally just ended up canceling the video and reloading the beginning of the day and starting all over again and here we are we're buying all this stuff from Carla again and I'll tell you what she had better stuff the first time <laughs> it's like and here I bought steel I forgot that I bought steel I wasn't sure so after we unload everything I come back and check with her again find out that I did in fact buy this deal so yeah well anyway we had to do this a different way in order to get what I wanted to get so yeah see because she had uh, more fusion cells the first time and she had a fusion core because I was I, I always tend to like to uh, trade a couple of my drain fusion cores for the one good one she's usually carrying yeah see six six for a hundred yeah take a little bit of that i'd take a little bit of hit to get that better <laughs> but yeah we're trading off stuff I, I have you ever seen me use the game again yeah it's it's it's, it's okay for humans um maybe some wild animals doesn't do a lot of good against the uh ghouls or some of the radiation induced animals or bots so it's like eh. and I really don't want to carry around uh, the, the, the minigun it's just too big too heavy so we'll just trade this get rid of this and poof there we go and do I do something else? I think I'll do something else. Do I do something else? I think I get rid of... Yes, yeah, some of these. Don't really use a lot of them. Here we're just trying to snatch caps from her. So that, you know, I have caps for other things. And here I dump everything and... And I forget that I got the steel, so I go back again. Hey, Carla. Back again? Time to do business? I've got a few minutes to browse. Always happy to make a sale. There was one thing. She was friendlier this second time around than she was the first time. Both of her greetings this time were much less abrupt and just, she was nicer. All right, so here we go. In order, we're going to, hopefully, I can get rid of Ada by picking up a new companion. And I need to get back to work with Preston. As those of you in the know have figured out from the title of the video. So... I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just looking, I guess, to see if there's anything I can dump. See, I should probably use that Addictol because I seem to recall having the brief little thing pop up saying, you are addicted to all Mentats. And I think it was because I accidentally hit a Mentat button or something. I don't know. So 
So, what can I say? I guess we're going to get rid of some of these. Since I do most of my weapon mod here, it would be better to have the weapon mods here. And now, we're going to go ahead and I keep forgetting just how far south the castle is. I mean, you have to just keep on going. It's like way down there at the bottom. It's kind of hard to get to when you're at a low level. But here we are. We are at the castle. So let's find Preston. And Preston. There's my school. It's a little Chinese communist girl. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a communist party dress. Hey. Is there something you need? Come with me. I need your help. I'm with you, General. And we'll send Ada to Grey Garden. So supposedly she's heading to Grey Garden. <laughs> we'll believe that. I'll believe that when I actually see her at Grey Garden. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Well, wasn't that coincidental? By robots. There's Preston, and there's Kitty, and maybe I'll put a cat hole in a, a school area. That could be a new thing. <laughs> She's not heading it out. Okay, so let me at least get rid of these Minutemen clothes I picked up. I think the We Are the Minutemen mod gives me the opportunity to make new clothes at the uh, chemistry station. Chemistry station. You use that to make clothes. You, you make some weird things at a chemistry station. Things that have nothing to do with chemistry. Uh, yeah, so what can I say? And there's Preston again. And. I think that was Sean in the background. I mean, that's who I'm looking for now, but... He's kind of hiding from me. There he is. Hi, Sean. What's new, kid? Hey, Mom. Can you do something for me? Next time you're out doing stuff, can you look for something? I want to try building some new things. If you could find me a hot plate, I'd love to take it apart. I bet I can make something really useful for you. Sure thing, Sean. Thanks, Mom. I'm shooting for white hair. I don't know how they've all turned blue on me. Oh well. So, do I have a hot plate tucked away in here anywhere? Let's find out. And... Hey, I know. I guess you've got really have a hot plate. That just looks like junk plates. to me. Hey, Sean. Did you find what I needed? Yep. Got it right here. Perfect. Thanks. I bet I can do some really neat stuff with this. And here, this is for you. I hope it's useful. Maybe if you can't do anything with it, you could sell it to someone. Yeah, that's, uh... Not really anything very useful this time. Oh well. I guess we can't have everything. Now, sometime I had a message about Taffington Boathouse having suffered damage from an attack. So, let's go fix the damage they suffered from the attack while I was in the middle of the Easy loving, this ain't. You're that minute man. God mechanist's what? lair. Thanks. Who's there? It's good to know. You know what? Huh. Remember to support your I'm local gone now. Okay. You I didn't. Guys are great. This is I'm sure you'll put it to good use. There's Preston. Hey there, friend. Schmoozing but, with the people. He's the great Schmoozola. And it's kind of dark. Let's move the light. Didn't really help, did it? Just need to add a new light, I think. Should probably update this bathroom area so it's a functional bathroom. Since everybody's pretty much living in it. Everything actually seems to be just fine. I guess they've got it all repaired without me. So there's no point in spending any more time here. I need to get over there. But this time, 
since I made the point of tagging the place, we're just going to jump there. Yeah, because that way I don't have to fight float flies and sting wings and blood bugs and anything else. So we come up here, and here's a couple of APCs. And I don't go in and look at the APC. I'm dumb of me. Protect and serve. Utility protect Protect and serve. And a set of power armor. Minus the left arm and left leg. Maybe what happened was that fell out of the plane or the vertebrate or something and it hopelessly damaged protect the left side. Serve. But they were, uh, the Protectron was able to set it back up with the good part still on it. All right. Put some a fusion core on it. Because there is no fusion core. Yeah, we we'll do that. Fusion core. And now, a Preston. This work site hey, has gone. It? Zero days without an incident. Oh, no, go back. Come on, get it, get it, get it. There you go. Consider it done. I can't get there from here. Oh, no, he's going in. Okay, cool. Let's go in and get in my power armor. Alrighty. We're good to go. Look at this. Pair of power armored Minutemen. He's good to go. Now, let's not bother the uh, super mutants today. I mean, I know there's stuff in there I need to look at and snoop through, and there's some goodies, but eh, not today. I'm trying to keep this episode a little shorter than the last one. <laughs> so I'm sure you'll be pleased that I didn't get in another fight with somebody. Alright, let's uh, go back to Grey Garden. Maybe I'll remember to dump all of those mods. Because obviously, Ada isn't here yet. Well, Jezebel still is. Actually, I'm here to make a robot provisioner to go between the Mechanist's Lair and County Crossing. Like I should have done in the first place, instead of making one that went down to the Boston Airport. I think I like that head articulated frame that the uh, click again, click again. And basically, it's a Protectron construction model, but since he's hauling stuff, anything that helps in the hauling is good. It's like using a protectron to travel between places is just, uh, they are not suitable for any speed whatsoever. But we're going to give him some weaponry so he can protect himself. And what we're going to do is... No protectron legs. Robo brain treads. I like these. They move along at a nice clip with those robo brain treads. And we add the storage armor. So, I mean, it's not like he's actually going to carry anything. He's got his pack promen. But it's better to go ahead and do it that way. I tend to try to paint them in such a way that I will not shoot at them. Mechanist Lair to County 
Crossing. That's the name. The other one is ML A or BA, because it's going from the Mechanist Lair to the Boston Airport. This unit is currently in factory default mode. Do you wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine? Yeah, go ahead. Sure, Please that would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Are you ready to depart? Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, ma'am. I figure the uh, personality subroutine will uh, make it easier. See, look at him go. I mean, even Jezebel doesn't take off that quick. All right. So we'll send him down there. And hopefully in a, another game day or two, we can pop in and send an update. County crossing, and from that point we'll be able to uh, move to down to Boston Airport. Just go away. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? Oh, you, you bitter old robo brain. All right, so we've got the rogue robot. So let's go find the rogue robot. And the rogue robot is way down here. Now well, let's uh, pop in at the roadside pines then. Because I really don't want to battle the ghouls at the waterworks or power plant or whatever that was. Yeah. All right. So we've got the raiders are back. And the raider better. Because my level is so high, I start getting tougher people to fight against. Alright. I don't know why I did this. It doesn't really seem to help much. Okay, there we go. We've got company. Oof. Oh. Kristen, your aim is horrible. Would it be any better if I gave you a uh, better sight for your missile launcher? Nothing to worry about. And there he goes. He's down. I don't know if there's anybody else left. Kristen's busy. Firing a missile launcher at him. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Between me and Preston. Alright, here we go. Raider power armor. Not that I really need it, but oh well. And oh, this one's still here. He didn't grab that one. But of course it's Lost all him. set to own. Which means I have to try to think of whatever command it is that makes it set to unowned. <laughs> Somehow or another, I've managed to complete Rogue Robot, too. So, something else killed the robot. I don't know how, there I don't know why, bitch. I don't know where, I don't know... Well, when is now, but... I'm not going to go hunting for this destroyed robot. It's not in the dark. Oh, look. We have the waving board. I'm trying to think of some way to rewrite the line waving wheat can sure smell sweet. Playing games with me, huh? Okay, see I'm hearing somebody. I'm not seeing somebody. So let's go on up here. And where is somebody? Pepper says that way. Oh there they are. Boom. Here you are. Short controlled burn. And now she's <laughs> kind of sliding over the roof. She kind of runs. She kind of slides. Bottle cap, stim pack, a missile launcher, and a... she came after me with the serrated machete. I'm in power armor. You have a missile launcher, but you chase after me with the serrated machete. 
Such bravery. Such pointless stupidity. Okay, nothing there. Intense. I didn't pick up the Mintats, but I did pick up the Jet. Even though I would use Mintats more than Jet. I don't know what a Shumagus Blowtorch is, but I left the stem back. That was dumb. And I need to figure out the command to change the ownership on that. And there's no goodies in there. Nothing here. So, not here. It's dark. I don't want to waste all this time in the dark. So, what do we got? I got like nothing. Nothing to do, or nothing I want to do yet. One of these days, I'm just plain going to have to go back to Far Harbor now and get cracking on with that stuff again. But <laughs> Yeah, you want to talk about long stuff. Ugh. Trying to sort through Dima's memories. Although, there is... a... Uh, exploit you can use that makes it go by a lot better. At least, some of it. So what have we got? Natick Banks, Natick Police... Bookstore! Bookstore! Hey, that's one of my, uh little player homes that I got from that one mod. That's one of the player homes you get. And you probably have seen that already. So we've got a dead super mutant. Ah! A live death claw. That's why there's a dead super mutant. Make every shot count. And I was lucky he went this way. If he'd gone around the other way, he could have popped out of that door right on top of me, and I wouldn't have done, been able to stop him. So he seems to have killed everybody. We should get going. Well, all the super mutants, anyways. So we're going to take this opportunity to safely snoop through this little section without fear of having to battle a bunch of super mutants. We don't often get that chance. And this appears to be a bar because we got lots of booze in the bar. Just just real close to the uh, church. Hmm. Oh, there's another dead super mutant. And we'll pick up some cue balls and billiard balls. Didn't really need the full cue, but oh, make a chair. Alright, well, let's head down and see what else we can find. And here's an antique store with what appears to be empty display cases and a destroyed wall and a back door that does nothing. Empty trash bin. And well, here's the church. And yeah, here's yet another church. And yet nobody has made a mod that gives us this church building. There is a church building you can get. It's part of the uh, building kit. And... But it's... difficult to work with, and it doesn't mix with other building kits. It just doesn't. See? Like the barn kit. You've got a wall, you have thin boards, and on the inside you've got studs. You got two by fours around it that give the wall thickness. Same with your shack walls, your brick walls, your fancy wooden walls I have. They all have thickness to them. They make sense. But the building sets for like the churches, the big stone churches. Yeah, see, it's just you know, two pixels thick. It doesn't really join That's... with anything but its own stuff. It's not really meant for you to use. It's meant for the developers 
and people who are building maps and buildings, it's for them to use. So, it's, I know there are some people that manage to make really cool stuff with those kits, but I'm not one of them. I try. And it just annoyed me. So I don't do it anymore. Oh, look, a leg. Look at all the stuff I can get from just a leg. Okay. So, another super mutant. And another meat bag. And over here is... Not much. More meat bags. Alright. So are we done? We're gonna be done soon, I think. Oh, we got quite a bit of nifty stuff there. Okay. And Preston is just wondering what the heck I'm doing. Let's keep going around in circles. Okay. So we come down here, and there is in here a uh, overdue book return. So if you ever needed to do that, you could do that. Here by the bookstore. We go in. And Preston idolizes me. Ooh, imagine that. You have a minute? I, uh, well, I wanted to talk about something. What's on your mind? I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Concord, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. You don't still feel that way, do you? No, not at all. That's what I wanted to talk about. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders in Concord. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that, how much our friendship has meant to me. Have you ever thought about us becoming more than just friends? Have I ever? You mean you've also? Hold on. Kind of caught me off guard there. Let me start over. If you're asking if I've ever thought about you romantically, the short answer is yes. But I did never imagine that you could feel the same way about me. I mean, I know he's gone, but you still seem to be in love with your husband. I didn't think you were ready to move on. Well, I'm willing to give it a try if you are. You are? Really? That, that's... That's fantastic! Wow, I, uh... Well, I don't really know what to say. We don't need to rush things. I'm just happy knowing that what I felt, that it was real. That it wasn't just in my imagination. You're gonna have to give me a minute to just enjoy this feeling. I clicked on the wrong thing the first time. <laughs> So I just reloaded it and did it again, and oh, look, we have the Brotherhood out here. Never expected the Minutemen would be capable of taking out the Institute. Not sure I like the idea of the Minutemen having so much firepower. It didn't take a lot of firepower. That's, hey, a, that's, what do you that's need? the thing with the Brotherhood of Steel. Everything is firepower. Hey. I've always got time for you. I need you to get out of your power armor. Sure thing. And he's out. And we yank the fusion core out. 
And I'm sure the Brotherhood wouldn't carry. steal somebody else's power armor. This looks like a good place to stop for a bit. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that would be helpful to take with us, but we're not going to because I don't need it. But we are going to go to sleep. And so we'll call this a day. And I'll see you on the next video. And have a good one.